Hi everyone, I'm Troy W. Hudson, and welcome to this week's edition of my voiceover, Weekly Stew. What an incredible week in voiceover production in my studio this past week. Uh, literally, the styles and, and types of production were all over the board, and I'm so blessed to be able to have um, done work for repeat clients uh, that I love to work with, as well as establishing relationships with some new folks um, and, and be able to uh, help them in their production work. Um, the uh, week began with a... Um, a how-to instructional video for a client that I've worked with over the last uh, month or so on producing not only the voiceovers, but the video work on uh, instructions on on how to navigate their media streaming product. Um, and that was uh, a video seven of, of, of a number of, of series of videos for them. Um, was able to uh, produce some explainer videos later in the day on Monday. Uh, did some work for an e-learning client I haven't connected with and done any major work for in uh, a couple of years. And uh, apparently this is going to be a big, uh, major part of my 2017 uh, for a, a company uh, in the Midwest. And uh, they're doing essentially computer-based training, but they want it done in a more natural conversational style, which I love to deliver. Uh, E-learning, not just very structured, and this would be step A, and this would be step B, followed closely by step C. No. It's more conversational, although that could be conversational depending on your, you know, your your learning style. But really, it was, um, I don't know where that came from. Really, it was, <laughs> I'm channeling Jerry Lewis in a weird, bizarre sort of uh, way. Anyway, uh, essentially, uh, it, it's instructional uh, uh, how-to for a new software uh, system for a group of employees, which I can't talk about the name of the company, but uh, it could be any company. Uh, learning a new system and just just sharing in a more conversational way for e-learning. And I love to do that, to break it down, to explain it. Uh, and essentially, I have to get it first in order to explain it to them. So uh, thanks to Tim at Lucidway uh, for sending that work my way. And I'm looking forward to a, a big full year of production, helping those folks at the unnamed corporation. Okay. Um, anyway, on Tuesday, I did a PowerPoint business presentation for a client, uh, brand new. Um, I did uh, a commercial for a shelter product of some sort. I don't, I don't think it was a bomb shelter, but it was definitely a multi-purpose shelter. It could be used for surgery. It could, well, I can't, what? I can't, oh, I can't talk too much about that. Um, apparently it's something for the government. Um, anyway, uh, anyway, uh, later on I did that day a, a monster voice for a video game product. And I love doing character voices. Uh, in case you didn't know. Um, later in the middle of the week, hump day, I did some more e-learning. Actually, lasted most of the day. It was a very long uh, five to 7,000 word project. And uh, that kept me busy for a good part of the day. In between that, I did some monster voice pickups for that same video uh, game company. And uh, later on that morning and Thursday, I did some children's voiceovers, some storytelling. They are the most critical audience. Around four to 10 year old uh, is what I'm told the age range is. Uh, for the storytelling I'm doing, if you cannot convince them that you are engaged and involved and in awe and in and and truly excited about the content you're reading, they will know and you will not get rehired. What? Yes, it's true. You really have to be engaged uh, with the process, not just uh, doing silly voices, but you have to look at the text on the page or the screen in this case, and you literally have to be uh, enraptured by the story, and it helps with great writing, but also, e even if the writing's not all that terrific, if it's just basic, you can't just skim over it. Um, I love to be able to envision that kid or kids sitting in the classroom or sitting, listening, uh, or watching a story or listening to a story on the iPad or listening device, and they are just captivated by the storytelling, and that's what I try to envision when I'm doing these stories because I truly do get uh, really into them, and and, and, I, and I think that's because I, I, I try to read it with my grandson or even my kids from years gone by, 
uh, telling them stories with silly voices and, and just really getting into it. So I love doing that stuff. Thursday progressed with, um, uh, I did a commercial for a, a Western outdoor fitter uh, a, a client. And uh, let's see, uh, I did a, a production for a software uh, tool for uh, a company called Anzimati uh, in, uh, in Beirut, Lebanon. Well, on Friday, uh, I did some more uh, character voice work for uh, some children's stories. And uh, I, I linked up with a client uh, that I'll be working on an audio book for, for uh, this lady author. Uh, and it's the story of a blue unicorn. Yes, blue unicorns do exist. At least that's what I'm convincing myself as uh, of too, uh, as I will begin production on this next week. Blue unicorns, not just any unicorns, but blue unicorns actually do exist. And so I'm excited to be starting that uh, story next week. Uh, later in the day on Friday, uh, a security agency, uh, a company based in New York, I did uh, some commercial voiceover work for. Uh, in addition to doing some more telephony or business voiceover uh, messaging, uh, for a company um, in uh, Terre Haute, Indiana. And I did confirm that it was Terre Haute and not Terre Haute. Terre Haute. It was Terre Haute. So uh, my Indiana peeps, there you go. I got it right. What an incredible week uh, in voiceover work. And uh, I'm just, like I said, I'm just so blessed and so excited uh, because next week is a brand new week. Uh, but for this week, uh, I'm just I'm just, I'm just, just soaking in uh, uh, the, the wonderful things that I was blessed to, to work on. So um, here's wishing you guys and hoping and praying you guys have a fantastic next week. And uh, I'm not fooling about that in celebration of April Fools. Had to work that in there somehow. So uh, I'll see you guys next week. Take care.